My name is Patricia Martin Ward and I am the manager of St. Mary's Children's Home. I have been working at St. Mary's for 20 years. At St. Mary's Children's Home, my main function is to ensure the smooth operations of the organization. In essence, it means that whatever the activities that are done here is done for the optimum care of the children. So I manage staff, I manage day-to-day -day operations to a large extent, I manage stakeholders and ensure that with everything that we do that the children are cared for at the highest standard. At St. Mary's Children's Home we have a complement of 85 members of staff. That includes all levels of staff from drivers, cooks, groundsmen, juvenile home supervisors, those are the ones who take care of the children on a daily basis. We have an administrative staff and um, laundresses and so on. So we have a full, full complement. There is a board of management who oversees the management of the home. These are all members of the Anglican community because this is an Anglican institution. The chairman of the board is the Anglican Bishop of Tran Tobago and all the members give their time voluntarily to be members of the board. So this is not a paying position. This is really a position of heart more than anything else. So there are 12 members of the board and they comprise the various skill sets so that they can give support to the management. They also have a vision for the organization and together with the management, we have a very good working relationship. The history of St. Mary's Home is a really heartfelt one. It began in 1857, the home, and it came right out of the plight of the indentured, Indian indentured laborers who came to the country. Nine children were orphaned, and it was felt that, you know, the consciousness was there to do something for these children. So the home was started with these nine orphaned children in 1857.